My name is Shireen El Feki. I am an author and an activist and an academic. My book is entitled uh, Sex and the Citadel, Intimate Life in a Changing Arab World. So I'm going to talk about my journey. Over the past uh, decade, I've spent much of my time in the Arab region talking to people about sex, what they do, what they don't what they think, and why. Now, some people think that is absolutely a dream job, and other people see it as a rather dubious occupation. But for me, it is a way to reconnect to the Arab region. My family comes from Egypt. I am Muslim. I speak Arabic. But I grew up in the West, very far from my Arab roots. And after September 11th, I became interested in understanding more about the Arab region. I chose to look at sexuality because of my background as an immunologist and my professional training looking at public health and in particular HIV. When you start talking about HIV in the Arab region, you inevitably start talking about sex and all the taboos around sexuality. So I became interested in understanding was what is happening in sexual life in the Arab region. And what I found was very interesting because talking with hundreds and hundreds of people, experts, ordinary people about intimate life, I discovered that there is an intimate connection. What is happening inside the bedroom is influenced by what is happening on the bigger public stage in politics, in economics, in religion, and in tradition, and vice versa, I argue, in Sex and the Citadel, that what happens in our intimate lives also has an effect in our public life. So I wanted to look at the connection between the public and the private. So as I say in Sex and the Citadel, if you really want to know a people, you start by looking inside their bedrooms. And frankly, I discovered in writing the book that if you really want to know yourself, you start by writing uh, a book. My research on sexuality and more recently my research on masculinities in the Arab region was done in large part to fill a gap within the region. There are a lot of ideas, a lot of stereotypes, a lot of taboos, not a lot of hard research. But in recent years there's also been a lot of discourse both in the media and also policy making in the West around sexuality in the Arab region and around masculinities, Arab men, what with the uh, waves of migrants and refugees who have come to many Western European countries. I'd like people at today uh, talk to really think again about some of their preconceptions, misconceptions, stereotypes they might have about sexual life and also about masculinity, what it is to be an Arab man. Because our research shows something very different from the stereotypical picture. And it is possible to talk about sexuality. It is possible to engage with these issues in, uh, with people in and from the Arab region. Like anyone else in the world, we are interested in sexuality. It is the mainspring of, uh, of a human condition. We're no different than anyone else uh, in the world in that. Our language may be a bit different. How we approach these issues are, are, may be a bit different. Our concerns may be a bit different, but our interests are very similar. So I would urge people at uh, today's event to really start a conversation because you'll be very surprised where that takes you.